this hat so this is like my when i'm going to russia hat it's like a pot on my head but yeah mm. authentication where you sell something and they will first send it to me dear god thank you for clicking this video welcome to my platform today we're going to be talking about a not really requested video it's more of a suggested video because i'm always talking about your end filming stuff and it's vinted so we're going to be talking about vinted i'll show you how vinted works how to use vinted and most of all how to make money on vinted if this is something you think you would enjoy sit back relax and let's have a good time my name is stephanie and you're welcome to the metro gypsy platform <laughs> let's get right into this because the video might be long so i'll do, divide the video into telling you what vinted is about how i sell and buy on vinted showing you the items i bought from vinted and last of all i'll tell you how to make money on vinted strap on gramp juice popcorn whatever and let's get going before we even continue please click the thumb up button it helps the video go around if you haven't subscribed please do and welcome 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 if you're a returning subscriber mm -hmm. vinted vinted is the platform where you sell your items i think the idea of it was from pre-loved so it's not really a place where you should be selling new things i think that's the idea because there was a time when i started listing and i put things as brand new brand new i think i put like five consecutive things as brand new and they kind of um you know message me that okay come on so it's mainly um pre-loved items obviously helping the environment sustainability check and then it's only fashion items so clothing accessories shoes whatever and then skincare makeup not um gadgets okay but they have headphones homeware they want you to come there don't throw your things away after using them reuse repair resell <laughs> so that's the idea when they are sellers they're also buyers so vinted is also a place where you can buy stuff so you can be looking for something and you know sometimes you, there's just a particular thing you're looking for and you don't even know what website is carrying you don't even know you just go on Vinted, search for the thing, search the item name, and you'll be able to find it. A good tip I'll give you for when you're trying to buy something on Vinted, just be really specific. Write the brand name, if it's a brand name, or what the item is used for. If you're not sure what is for, what the item is called, you know, just call it different names. You never just know what will pop out. And also put your size, and if you want, is the color preference, put the color as well when you're searching, just so that you um, it drills everything down. That's what Vinted is and as I said it's a platform you buy and sell. The advantage of Vinted over your eBay is that there are no fees. So with eBay, I sell on eBay guys, with eBay you're charged 13% so you're selling something, let's say you're selling something for £15, you're posting it for £4, they'll put 15 and 4 together and charge you 13 of that. Before it used to be just that 15 will be charged 13% so you can put anything in your postage which wasn't really fair for your buyer shop. But so now eBay is just like uh, they literally take 13% of everything you're going to get on that sale. So when you check in it doesn't really add up it's annoying but the advantage of eBay over Vinted is that there's more reach. I think a lot of more people know about eBay so you know you have a lot more range of customers and due to that fact you're able to hike your prices higher than you sell on Vinted. A disadvantage of Vinted guys everybody there is just like looking for a deal. <laughs> you can put something for $2.99 you'll come and ask me can you sell it for $1.20 like that's just how it happens. So another tip <laughs> for when you're selling on Vinted just add maybe one pound more to the price because people just love to know that they have a bargain like even if it's, they had seven pounds to buy something you're not going to put it for six pounds they still ask you for five pounds if you want to sell something for six pounds better put you at seven so we don't like haggling but a lot of people there will drag <laughs> and haggle so let them have that one pound and let's be that they had a deal with the one pound you get because there's people that will still come and buy it without even arguing so obviously as with every platform that is like social media be careful because there are a lot of these but the good thing about being said is that it protects you well wait because i'm now a higher seller on ebay when i when someone buys something i get money immediately you get but on being said they hold the money until you've posted it the person has picked it or the person has said it's okay before the money goes to the seller so you're very very well protected listing on vinted is so easy you just click plus you put your pictures you put the title try not to use um uppercase letters in your title they like it when it's like you're not screaming <laughs> so just use lowercase or you can just say the first word will be uppercase they'll accept that put the name and then just your category i think um price color um yeah so just a few bits and then the size of the parcel obviously because it should be medium small or large just so that the person they'll know how to i think you can they'll know how to like, give the postage price to the person buying um another thing you can even choose how you want your items like me 
I don't mind receiving it anyway, but when it comes to posting, oh my gosh, I hate Yodo because the Yodo store is far from my house. Like, it's not that far, but the walk is long. So, I really, really love every. I love the um, Amazon impulse. Oh my god, that's the best thing ever. I literally made a clip. I'll just put it in. I'll insert it now if I have that clip. So, you literally go with your code, go to the box, put the code there collecting or posting put the code there a box will open you take out your stuff or you put in your stuff it depends on what you're doing so that amazon is so brilliant and they're in a lot of places so you can also choose how you want to be sending things so may i made sure i unticked the other because the other location is not that close to my house but we every which is for my hermes and amazon i'm good i will post my items within 24 hours in fact i have a badge already from vincent for always posting on time because i love my buyers to get their things immediately so that's enough of that so let me now tell you guys about vincent. my relationship with vincent started i think from an ad it was my colleague it was my colleague at work in Aylesbury. yeah she used to tell me that ah, vintage 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 i was like mm, ebay 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 so she started putting things on ebay and i said okay let me stop on the vintage and guys i fell in love the fact that there are no fees alone whew, no more it just helps my life so i easily buy i easily sell vintage sometimes even like instagram to me because I just think of something or i can be looking at instagram i just this item looks nice i'll just go and set the brand and write maybe the jacket of this brand and just see what vintage is saying about it you know it's just nice knowing that you're just giving value to something that someone is tired of or someone wants to sell and stuff like so that. let's go into the things i have bought from vintage so far these are from the first thing i ever bought from vintage it was this blazer zara woman blazer i know zara woman is the range of things that are really really nice of zara is a one button blazer i got really tired of double breasted stuff and i wanted a white blazer it's off white like cream but closer to white and then zara these things so are so expensive in zara like a place that is like 65 pounds 95 or you know 100 and so i went there and i think i got this for 35 like i tried to get it for 20 so the girl was even budging he had a tag everything then so finally i just said okay steph you really want this thing why don't you go and get it this is a dog to sprint blazer it's black and green as you can see i haven't worn this at all since it came i just really liked okay because i got like oh yes i got the cycle shorts and i just thought this would go with it i think it was before i traveled i got to, I was like ah, okay cycle shorts now they're so casual where i was going was warm so i was like okay let me get something a bit serious at the top so this was my plan so i was going to wear this and wear maybe a bra kind of top underneath and this is brand new i didn't know what the price was i'll put the price on the screen it wasn't it wasn't more than it wasn't more than six pounds i don't think it was more than six pounds once autumn was coming i started trying to you know stock up on cable knits and jumpers and stuff so i got this this obviously you guys know is zara as well it's still like i wouldn't say it's in stock right now in zara but they have the one that's turtle neck i don't know if they have this particular one in zara but i got this and i got this in a medium normally i'll get a zara large but because this looks oversized already i got it in a medium and i'm loving it i use it to do some of my christmas pictures i'll put it on screen in fact if i want any of these things i'll try and put it on screen so you see how they fit so for this one i, I didn't get this thing it wasn't up 10 pounds no no this was 12 pounds there are things actually so was it 12 or even lower maybe 11 or 12 i'll put you on screen anyway so zara things have a way of selling out quickly and people don't mind paying a bit more for them because everyone likes zara so talking about jumpers as i said i got this as well this was actually brand new i've just taken the tag off even had the um medium here it's h&m it's cable knit jumper and it's pink i got this for three pounds guys it was brand new and it was three pounds from h&m and it is three quarter sleeve don't come never sleep cable knee jumper that is three quarter sleeve so i was impressed and happy to get that one this one is a river island shirt this wasn't brand new but it was really neat when it came i've only like two or three times i even used to film a video so yeah it's a lovely shirt from from river island i used to think i was river island larger but apparently i'm medium sometimes you can shop bundles so usually when you're listing your stuff as a seller you can say if someone is buying two or three items five percent off ten percent off something like that so when i bought this i actually bought it alongside this one so it was the same seller that sold this that sold this as well so this is brand new i was looking for a corset top i was going to spain and yeah i really just wanted a corset top and then lo and behold it was this brand this brand is called cider i've seen them a lot on my instagram like literally they advertise so much on my instagram i've always done a cider haul but the things i'm scared because i've never seen anybody who has done a cider haul their items look so nice so I was like you know what let's get this cider like as a side i didn't go there to look for cider i actually went there to look for corset top and then i saw this one brand new and i think she's only for 450 or something so i bought it with that one so obviously there was a bit of discount because you, when you shop bundles you click in a way that two of them will come into the basket so that your postage will be one payment he or she will choose the size of the parcel 
all that good stuff and the item i've gotten from vincent is this one i wasn't even searching for this i think i was looking for a hoodie or something when this came out it's actually a hoodie but like it's a bodysuit and then it has this london <laughs> on the sleeves i love 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 this like i love it it was such a find and then it has this two ropes thing and then the hood which really fits it i think it's a medium and it's pretty little thing so i can't remember how much i bought it as i said i'll be putting things on the screen to let you know what the price was so i love this so much i purchased it and immediately oh this seller took time <laughs> took time to post this thing but yeah it's shocking next um cool so when i was going to spain i wanted a lot of cool just so that i'll be able to you know change and flex during our tour you'll see the video of that very soon if you've never seen it by now so i got this skirt it's just a short skirt when i saw this i wasn't sure what fabric this is this pretty little thing is brand new as well i wasn't sure what fabric it was so i went on pretty little thing and just wrote like something print yeah? and then i saw a dress that was in this exact fabric so i looked at the model and i was like okay yeah cool i don't mind having this so this is the top and then this is the skirt i got both of them in a size 10 and um, yeah, I'll put the price on the screen. So I really love the fact that they were really um, light so that it could go into my bag because I told you I wanted to use it too because we're going to tour different islands. I wanted to wear, like when we get to one of the islands, I needed something that won't be too heavy and this really could suffice. Talking about co-ods, I got this as well. So for this one, I think I was looking for co-ods and I just saw this um, dog tooth skirt. So this fabric is actually thicker than the other one. It has very, very good um, like wool very nice very very nice and then the, the top of it is like a jacket like a jacket with press button okay right here yeah press button stuff so this is she in both and really really beautiful got from vinted i'll put the price on the screen and i really love them i also put how i wore it and so you see me wearing it in spain on my other video where i went to vinted I, sorry when i went to bista village my friend i bought some levi jeans and i fell in love with levi guys i went on vinted <laughs> to find Levi and I saw this one so this is not the only one this really reminds me I need to go and get a black one so I got this pair of jeans and they weren't even up to 10 pounds they weren't brand new when it came but they looked really really good very excellent condition because you also see the condition of your item when you're buying it I love the shade of blue and yeah I've been loving this I want to get a black pair as well and maybe a skinny um, pair of blue as well Levi 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 talking about random beads this was the um, skincare bag I took on my trip to Spain I got this from there as well for this one what was I looking? I think I was looking for Estee Lauder stuff you know how you just get PR products because I get a lot, a, lot, a lot of L'Occitane stuff and I know I put one of my L'Occitane serums on Vinted and it sold out so quick so like you know what let's see there's anything from Estee Lauder and I just saw this pouch the person was literally selling this whole thing and um yeah it came with lipstick mascara um, the advanced night repair serum the advanced night repair cream and if you bit i think i showed you in my pack with me so you see so this was where i got this beauty and look at how beautiful this thing is Estee Lauder, the zipper everything like it just gave me goodies and it was just 25 pounds beautiful this is like one of my favorite ever purchases from vinted and please you guys go on vinted love 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 it Mwah. talking about accessories i don't think i've really gotten so many accessories from there but i've got this hat so this is like my russian when i'm going to russia hat or oh, when the winter is so hard sure <laughs> we'll wear this one let me try and wear it please mm. <laughs> it's like a pot on my head but yeah mm. Yeah, I like it. I got this from Vincent. I can't remember where it was, but I know we, we had banter. When I was chatting with a girl, like, how does it look? What's the size? She's like, yeah, she had some pictures. We sure had a bit of a chat, and then I got this. I've got this. I've had this for a while. I probably wear it this winter. Let's go into footwear, guys. This is the first. This is not the first footwear I've gotten, but this is the first one I'm going to show you. If you seen any of my content from when I was in Spain, you'd have seen this New Balance pair. So these were not the most less expensive things they actually cost me 80 pounds on vinted and they are the new balance 550 so i really 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 wanted them and that's why i went exactly to look for them i saw this guy amazing shop like his shop is amazing i'll put his name here because he actually had a chat i don't even know if it's a guy but i think it's a guy we had a chat and i even followed his page on instagram if you're into like um sports kind of things vintage stuff retro stuff follow this account to be on the screen now so i got these from him and it came in the box it's about like i said quite steep with the price i think i've had this for over a year now because i remember i've taken pictures on it so yeah i got this nike shoes like this i love the fact that blue easily goes when i'm wearing stuff when i'm wearing jeans i think i got this for 35 35 yeah and yeah 
yeah this was the first pair of shoes i ever got from vinted and you just told me to sit down on the platform so these are public desire boots i'm sure you've seen these boots in my life before so these are my white boots they are knee boots and i got them for 20 i know we struggled a bit so i think when it was 25 or something i eventually paid 18. we shall bounce out a bit shall before you know i got them and i've had these for i think over a year now yeah they're my high waisted my high my knee high white boots talking about public desire again i have gotten this i'm funny you know all the shoes i've gotten okay apart from the last one i'm going to show you they've all come in their boxes people are really really careful because me i don't like to keep things in their boxes the fact that i'm still keeping this because i might want to sell it again so i just wanted something green and i decided to go on vintage for it and i saw this the price wasn't bad at all i put it on the screen because i can't remember so this is how this one looks i used it for one of my um content and content mission shoots for a nigerian brand so i haven't even posted that picture but i sent it to the brand but yeah so i got these as well there's more stuff and as i said i might bring the cycle shots for you to see but before we go there these are the last pair and these are my only regrets from vinted i wanted to wear i needed green shoes i searched for this on sewing then i showed my hobby and it was like he doesn't like the heels they might not be comfortable so I was like, okay, whatever. Only for the girl to now come to reduce the price. Should I reduce it again? Oh. In the end, I paid eight pounds for them. They are actually see me shoes, really pretty and everything. Oh, but it's just never. I've never really had to wear. It. Like one time, I just forced it into stuff I was shooting and added it to it. But maybe if I was in Nigeria, you'll get more wear. I don't know. But they don't even look bad at all, and they look really nice. So I have put them back on vintage. Amongst other things, I've put on vintage as well. It's like right now, this is something. I don't show you the person. Address that's something that sold on my Vinted account yesterday, and I'm going to be posting today. Yes, you can always buy, sell when you have all these PR products, all these things that you don't want. You're just really need to create content when you even have two more things in your life, like you just know, essential clothes. If you're not doing anything in charity, you can resell them, post low fees, get your money, move on. So, right now, my Vinted balance will be like five pounds inside. Sure, <laughs> have a little money there because obviously, I'm selling as well as I'm um, right now, I'm not buying, but with the period I was buying, I was buying. As you can see, so let me go and get those shirts before we close this video. These are the, so these are the shirts. As I said, they are ribbed shirts, just cycle shirts. You can imagine these be like your sneakers, your blazer, or even flat palms, flat shoes. Just so damn cute. And you can see it's brand new. So this one originally, obviously, sale, 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 it became eleven ninety nine, but I bought it for like 2 50 or £3. Pounds. So this person was actually quite generous for a Zara piece. And as I was bringing this and I realized I had another one I hadn't shown you. This is my latest buy and you can see it's brand new. It's Zara. Um, sale, sale, sale. It became 20 $19.99 and we sold it for, I'll put it on the screen, but I think it was five something. So it's a midi dress, another shade of green, long sleeve. So, so perfect for right now so perfect for the winter that's about it for all the things i bought from vintage um, obviously i've sold a lot of things but i can't start showing the things i've sold because they are now sold so it's somewhere where money you know just goes here and there making money on vintage um the making money part of vintage is kind of selling as well so well, let me just tell you how i started making money on vintage i wanted that just christian Joe sneakers so I, I was like let's go and check vintage for so i went on vintage and just wrote the thing with my own size i think i was just more confident in the fact that i'll find it there so i saw it it was even a guy that had it how much did they have before they got it for 250 you know so i liked it obviously you see the amount of you can like as well so sellers always know when too many people have liked their items so the item had quite a number of likes according to him and i liked it and then i asked for i can't remember how much maybe 120 because i'm so ras from 250 <laughs> or maybe it was 200 because there's the way you can there's how much lower you can go i think the percentage of you know, low, like someone cannot put something for 20 pounds, you have for two pounds, you said not even let you, I think it may be like 40% or something, I think I can't remember, I shall, I shall know, he rejected this, I was like, what's the least, because you can even have a chat quickly, if the person is on the phone, the person will reply you, that was the least you can sell, he was like, well, right now, I have an offer of 150, so first to buy her, well guys, I just clicked that 150, that's why I bought my shoes, they came in, I say four days, because Vincent posted sometimes, it takes a while, except people use UPS, UPS is the only one that bring you so fast, so that's how the sneakers came guys i <sighs> shall wore my sneakers rocked it a bit what did i do i went to ebay ebay is my place where i told you i used to sell on ebay that it's just that their fees but ebay will give you that customer that will pay you get vintage could give you as well after all it's me that still bought someone's sneakers but look at the margin now so that's when ebay now introduced the um, authentication where you sell something and they will first send it to me dear god Sorry for the interruption. So eBay 
so i now put on ebay to buy guys what did i put it at i think i put it at 8.50 on ebay so then obviously it, it was looking good there was no scratches and I, I, the guy even had the receipt so i had the receipt so that even really helped my life so someone came for 750 guys i sold it i sold it at 750 but the thing is you now had to go through the machine sorry go through the place where the authenticity i was like oh my god i hope this person did not but there's a vibe i get when someone is lying and person is not lying so i'm like i have receipts and everything this person can be lying all these guys we really have time for lying stupidly i posted it obviously it passed through the process at one point i got confirmation that the thing has been certified as original and you'll get your money so that's how i got my money 750 and my postage was 599 that's 7599 30% of that is 98 uh, 98.3 something like that so in the end i got six, 661.69 so you can imagine so i got 661.69 just for seeing an item obviously investing so investing my money to buy taking pictures of it putting it on ebay and then selling it and they took their fees and i still got 600 and something so when i tried this oh my god i was so excited happy i, I would have easily gone back and started looking for things that were not my size but my fear was that okay what if this thing doesn't sell that who's now going to be wearing it again but if you're serious and you want to overcome that fear go there a lot of people are maybe they have a lot of material things due to emotional attachment like they're giving by someone they're not talking to anymore or they've just have grown it they want to replace quickly so they're willing to sell it at like really low prices so you can always go on vintage and find this kind of people another thing I, another item i did that was um sunglasses linda farrow sunglasses i really wanted them and when i saw them, ah, such a good price to carry this from there put it on ebay i even put it on the vintage again but the people of vintage job if you're writing it nobody was buying so it sold on ebay so that's another thing i saw but that one i didn't make that much i didn't what i made was like 55 pounds from it so guys um just open your eyes if you something you have time for you might not have time for you might have a friend who doesn't mind you those kind of things because it's not everybody that has the energy to be looking for you know different things that are like really discounted and obviously you have to trust with ebay if you're selling over 500 that's when they will check the authentication thing so if it's not it will just go through if you are the person believe it's original it's original but obviously always ask your questions then again they're also thieves but the things that vintage will protect you there's one time i, I was looking at instagram and i saw these lowe jeans so i went into that like lowe jeans instead of lowe jeans a bag came off and the bag was so so cheap i was like ah hello how come you're selling it at this price like my boyfriend gave it to me yeah i don't like him anymore something very really stupid so i said okay well, let's buy it that's what i spent it was like 300 or 400 or something because it was so so cheap i want to I was like, well, let's just try our luck. So I paid the phone or something. You know, personal gave me delivery label tracking. <laughs> after two days, I tracked. The thing said in transit or something. Tracked again after four days. You are still saying the same in transit. I said, ah, this one is this coming. I went to the person that, how far? This one has not come. Said, hey, that they return, they're returning it back to him or her. That something, something. I said, no way, let's do it privately. <laughs> I just told Vinted, please. Can you, I need my money back. Vinted was like, no, no, 13 days. Another day again, I now asked the person a question. In fact, that was when the person now said, let's do it privately. I now just screen grab it. I gave Vinted help. Those ones now said, okay, cool. This person is a thief and sent me my phone with that something back. So that's the thing. Even if someone wants to scam you, Vinted won't pay until you say it's fine. Except someone carries your phone and hacks it and writes that everything is okay. Do you get? So that is how to sell on Vinted. So you guys, explore these options. Really, you have nothing to lose. It's just that you might have to invest a bit. Another option would be like to take the pictures and go and put on eBay. But the thing is that by the time someone buys it, they might have bought it already on Vinted. So you just take the risk and see how things go. Just make sure it's something that's trendy. People are searching for you. Definitely get a buyer. So yeah, this is a way to make money in this hard time. Yeah, don't forget to sell your stuff. Don't forget to buy stuff from there. Just so that you add sustainability to the environment. It's a form of sustainability to be honest. Buying and selling on Vinted. And I hope you've been able to get some one or two things from this video. Please click the subscribe button if you haven't to join the family. And if you're already part of the family, thank you so much for coming back. Drop a comment because I love to read from you. If you haven't clicked the thumb up button, please do share this video with your friends, your family, and your enemies. Follow me on Instagram at Metro Gypsy, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye bye.